Hey everyone, this is Julia. Hey, the Nomadic Crafter. And I have just a general update for you, but I wanted to talk a little bit about what it's like running a business out of a, a clothing business out of a van. And one of the main things that I need to do all the time is photography. Obviously, I can't do that in the van, so I need to find places around. It's a little loud, but we'll bear with it. First of all, there's Bambi Dog, and there is the van, and we are in a park. <laughs> and um, as a quick update, I have recut my hair on the sides, and the guard did not work, so I could actually have some hair left, so I had to go all the way down to the skin. It feels so refreshing. It feels so good. Um, another update is that some of my family members have come into town from the East Coast. My aunt and uncle with two cousins. And the two cousins are actually nomads like me. They are living in an RV. So they're all in town. And uh, last night we went to Old Town in San Diego and had a nice meal. And it was so great to see them all. At first I was very stressed and anxious about meeting up with family. Um, just every family has history a little bit but once we got all together it was all love 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 it was so sweet even my sister was there who i saw for the first time in a year and a half that i've been here um and just the whole thing was really great see my nephews so that was really fun and they're in town for a couple more days so hopefully we'll see them again um other updates i'm working on my name change calling publications and hopefully we'll get that order to show cause assigned by the court as soon as possible so that I can have it in my van at all times. In case I get stopped, I can show them what I'm working on. So let me show you what I'm working on now, which is a little photography shoot. Um, ordinarily, I can't do photography during the day because you have big blotches of bright sun and really dark shade or dappled shade like over here. And it just does not look good. The other consideration besides the lighting is the background. Say I wanted to do a photography here, that would be my background. Vehicles, trash cans, not very pretty. So I try and find like um, a good background that's natural or something like that. And the other factor is wind. Right now we have a lot of wind blowing through here. So the photos I just took, I'm glad I took them before the wind started picking up, which it has now. So wind is a big factor. Um, let me think. And then also whether you're gonna lay the item down flat or you're gonna hang it. And the wind is worse if you're hanging it. But sometimes the item looks much better hanging. And the other thing is when you lay it down, you're laying it down on grass or uh, a cement area that might be dirty. So sometimes I'll put a cloth behind or underneath the item. Um, honestly, doing photography outdoors, actually even in the apartments I've had, is a total bear. It's one of the most difficult aspects of my job. But let me show you what I found today. I'm so excited about this. Look at this little background right here. So here I have a hat that I just photographed. It's a Rasta Tim handmade crochet hat. And this background, this little circular thing is so beautiful. There's a plane going over. Isn't that just great? So this turned out to be a perfect area to do some photography. Um, now with these, I like to model them on, but that's even more of a bear. I usually prop my camera up on the side of the van, which doesn't allow really enough light to come in. Um, but I have a new camera now, so all of my photographs are starting to get better. And all of the dresses that were done and any items with the old camera look horrible. And I need to redo all of them, which means I need to go bring, that's another factor, ironing. So I need to go bring those items back over to my sewing studio, which I'm lucky to have. Otherwise, I'd have to rent a motel for this. Um, unless I can find a laundry mat with an outlet, which I have never been able to do yet. But I'll re-iron those. Then i got to bring them back out and photograph them and model them and photograph them. So that's kind of a, a big job. Meanwhile, until I have a computer, there's nowhere to actually put all the photographs. Last night, unfortunately, I, well, I had 15.9 gigabytes used out of 16. 
and only a little bit of like 1.5 gigabytes was photographs but in the process of trying to figure out how to clear that phone out I erased my photographs of the necklaces that I just did and a bunch of other stuff off of the phone so they're backed up in Google but um, under photos off of the camera you know but I'm not able to edit them there so now it's really important to be able to edit the the photos for lighting and sometimes they're upside down so that was a real bummer last night but um, it wasn't that it was something else I did which I don't even know which finally got them off enough now there's only 7.5 gigabytes used out of 16. Anyway, I'm able to use the camera now to do this video. I need to get a computer so I can put the photographs on there, edit them on there, store them on there, uh, everything. Upload them from there. Oh my God, using the phone to upload the photos and do that is cray cray. So the other thing I wanted to show you were the shirts that I photographed today. These are men's shirts and a, and a skirt. I'm so excited about listing these for the men because I have a lot of... Uh, clothing for women and um, oh, I'm so excited to show you. It's kind of bright over here So firstly, and I have this nice rack right here to hang on my beautiful items And then I just go do the photo shoot right over there on that thing <laughs> But here's a skirt that I made uh, It's a side patchwork And it's just a little number cute little number It sides each pat uh <laughs> the patches are different on each side it's cute it's a great way to make an item larger and then these are the men's shirts hold on we've got playing again so the wind was a little severe I moved the shirts over here which you can now see there's another plane I'm just gonna keep going so the first one I made was this one it's a nice linen shirt and I put these two <laughs> So I put these two patches on here and I love doing a project like this where it's just a simple man shirt and then you add something unique to it for the guys because they, they don't want to be too foo-foo, you know, you just want to have something cool. But these are pretty, a little loud, especially the second one. Anyway, here are the two patches for this one and this one has a pocket on the back. Not that you'd use it, but it lets you know this is a recycled item. It's a nice gray linen shirt. And then this one I absolutely love. This is a Quicksilver surfer shirt. Sorry about the lighting. And it says, wake up. We've all been waiting. <laughs> and that's from a widespread panic song. That was a t-shirt that I loved for many, many, many years. A friend of mine, Colin, actually made that design. Wake up. We've all been waiting. Man, that was a good band. It's got a great front. And I might even pull these over to show you over there. And then I have this one. I love this. It's like a black pinstripe uh, shirt with this Indian scarf. Now, I've had this bandana for over 20 years. And I stopped using it. I washed it. Put it on there. So these planes are ridiculous. It's literally one every two minutes. People be going places. There's my shirts. So I'm loving these shirts and um, I intend to do a bunch more. <laughs> Love it. Um, I've done, there's one in my store right now. It's a plaid, red plaid with a shark on the back. But I think what I'm going to do with that one is put some stitching, hand stitching around because it's a little bit squirrely or the edge is uneven like I couldn't fold it perfectly into a perfect shape anyway you can find all of my clothes at etsy.com slash stores slash California patchwork or you can simply go to Etsy and type in California patchwork it should come up but some other things might come up too because a lot of people have California and patchwork in their names for their items so yeah, um, today was a pretty easy photo shoot. Hope the photos come out good. But it's not always so easy uh, to find that right situation. Like I said before, with lighting, usually I need to do it in the morning when it's cloudy before it gets sunny, which rarely happens. 
because I gotta have coffee, I gotta let my dog out, I gotta stretch. So I usually have that window in the evening. Um, after that bright orange glow of the sun when it's right on the horizon and coming down, right after that you get the perfect lighting usually, unless it's a nice cloudy day. So that's a really small window um, and I have to mix that lighting again with the background and location and just, you know, are there a hundred people around? If there are a hundred people around or even two people around, I can't focus. <laughs> like if there are people here right now, I probably wouldn't be able to do this video. So Bambi and I are doing well. I just wanted to uh, let you in on a little bit of our life. So now we'll probably make some oatmeal in the van and... I'll be going to a library today to get some work done on a computer. Um, what else is going on? Soon we'll be going back to the sewing studio. I really need to get on my work there. So this is the Nomadic Crafter and Bambi Dog signing out. We live in a 1996 Dodge van and it's quite luxurious. I do a lot of complaining about it sometimes, but really, I really do like my lifestyle. I'm reminded every day how simple it is, how minimal it is, and I really, really like that about it, and how I can go with the flow more often than not, because that's really the way it works out for me. I get so caught up in my head trying to plan everything, and the van life really allows me to go with the flow a lot more. I don't have to drive during peak traffic, you know what I mean? Let's all just have a moment of silence for the plane. So if you have any questions for me, please put them down in the comments. And all of you watching my videos that aren't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching. Have a blessed day.